Student and parent data can be managed via the student section in the top left corner. Here, we're able to track crucial information on our families, such as demographics, contact information, and medical data. The main page for students displays a picture, basic class and attendance information, emergency contacts, and fields for additional information, including birthday, gender, and ethnicity. You're also able to create tags, a customizable tool that will allow you to run more specific reports and create unique communication groups for your students. Tags can either be selected via a drop-down menu, generally reserved for ones that you might use often, or manually entered using the text entry field if you don't plan on using a particular tag regularly. Tags are a powerful reporting tool, allowing you to generate more customized reports. For example, I might run a report that searches for all 8th grade students tagged with both Girl Scout and Book Club. Additional information is stored in different sub-tabs at the top of the page. Most of these are fairly straightforward, such as contacts, addresses, login info, and notes. The two that we'll focus on are documents and files, which may sound similar, but actually track very different types of information. The files page is where you can upload a file from your computer so that it becomes associated with the selected student. These could be things like birth certificates or immunization records, or any other documentation that you need, such as a report card or transcript from another institution. Parents are also able to upload files as a part of their online application, and these files appropriately display in the Enrollment Files section, saving you the hassle of having to download a copy of each file and re-upload it manually. The Documents page is a bit different. It serves the purpose of tracking miscellaneous pieces of information on a student or family that doesn't really fit anywhere else. This might include things like religious information, government-issued IDs, language proficiencies, carpool or busing information, or even financial assistance codes if you have programs like free or reduced lunch. 